Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me. It is Tuesday and today is the last day of the month. As you can see, it's April 30th. And so that means I get to close out the month for my um, monthly savings. Just kind of give you guys a rundown of how things went and what I budgeted for. This month was a huge eye-opener to me. I suck at budgets, okay? I'm just going to say it. I am terrible, but I think I learned some good lessons, and I want to go through and just show, share with you some of the things that this is a very basic, vague budget and um, different categories that I thought that I would have. So I have a category for my business, had had category for haircuts, groceries and gas, and insulin for my kids, and our life insurance, date night and family fun, and our medical bills that I had to pay, and then some other things were birthday, tithing, Canva, Instant Ink, and Google. So those are just some of my basic, um, very basic monthly budget. If you don't see bills and things here, that is because my husband pays for all of those. So this is just the part that I um, am responsible in our household for. And I have money. This is where my money comes from. It comes from YouTube. It comes from my husband gives me part of his paycheck every month and then my Etsy store. So there's just, this is what I went into the month with. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you what really happened and why it's so important to do a big brainstorm before you create your budget for the month. So folks, I spent $3,494.93. That was not what I had budgeted. I went over $1,376.28. Are you laughing? Because I about had a heart attack. So for family fun, I had budgeted $100 for um, this month. And I spent $73.93, which I'm really curious as to why I decided $100. Because in my sinking fund envelope, I have family fun down for $200. My food budget, I thought, okay, $800 will be enough. I spent $943.33. It was a difference of $143.33. Then my son, Caleb. Okay, if you have a senior or you have one that's coming up next year, here is some advice. At the end of the year, there is like their, um, their all night party. There is capping gown. There's so many little things. So if you have a senior that's going to graduate next year, please do some savings challenges for that, for all the little things. And I would, I'd call it that senior, senior celebration and all the little things. You will have fees from school. You, I promise you, you will need kind of like a slush fund for that. So I spent $145 and I had nothing planned for that. My business, I planned $40 and I and um, I ended up going $196 over. The insurance was exactly the same because that's the same every month. Okay, my husband and I, all of our dates, I planned $200 and we went $65.25 over. Birthdays, I planned $120 and I did really good. I only did $13.57 over. And okay, here is the huge one right here, flowers. I am a flower nut. It's what I love. Every year I spend hundreds of dollars on flowers. It's just me. It's just what I like to do. Hello, did I put my flower money budget in here? No, I did not. And so I went over $241.81. Yep. Okay, for gas, this is the only category that I stayed positive in. I budgeted $120 and I spent $102, so I was plus $18. Here is another big one. Yikes. If you have a child that's in high school that will be going to prom, you need a savings challenge of about $500. Caleb, we got him a suit coat. It was like $140 and such a good price. His day date, 
his pictures and all those things, I ended up spending $461.62 and I did not have a savings challenge for that. Hello, in my Etsy store, I have a prom savings challenge. <laughs> oh, big, big, big mistake. So household, this is in addition to what I normally get with our food budget. I spent $10.67. Personal, I didn't budget anything again, and I spent $43.10. And then tithing, we spent $682.90. So all of these things right here are things that I did not budget for. That is one two, three, four, five categories. Okay, lesson that I have learned from this is going into the month of May, I am going to go ahead and put this together. You will see it next week. I'm going to try to have my monthly budget be more detailed instead of like the bare bones down into the details and see how I do um, next month. Now, are you wondering where I got this money from, you guys? Where I got that extra $1,376.28? Um, prom, the $400 right here came from my savings account that I had saved. The rest of the money came from savings challenges that I completed. Thank goodness I do savings challenges. It saved my life this month. So, I am actually starting this month, this next month out with zero dollars in my bank account. I went down to a zero, which is how a lot of people do their budgets. They like to start with zero, a zero based. And I'm going to see what can happen. Now, I have big events coming up. We're going to Hawaii. We have graduation. We have a lot of little things. We have Mother's Day. We have lots of things that I need to try to incorporate in the amount of money that I'm going to have coming in, which is kind of hard for me because I, um, all of my incomes are variable. My YouTube channel is a variable. My Etsy store is a variable. And so it, it gets a little tricky. So that is what I learned this first month in budgeting. But I want to share with you guys, the other day I... I'm always creating things, and when I'm not, I'm not a very happy person. I just like to um, set goals and create different items, and I want to show you this new binder that I made. It has all my challenges in it. Let me open this up a little bit bigger here. It has all my challenges in it, and um, not all of them but it has $10,000 worth of challenges in it. So here are the ones that I'm going to be getting really serious about savings. Now, this is going to, um, from now until December, I'm going to only stuff this when I can, but starting in 2025, I am going to challenge myself to save $10,000. I really, really, really need to get serious. Now, $10,000 sounds like a lot of money, and it really is, in addition to everything else that you're responsible for. But it's a challenge that I, I'm willing to take. And I'm going to show you the challenges that I'm using that equal $10,018. So here's my Fox Seasonal Challenge. The icons are from 1 to 16, doable, I can do that. My Tiger Challenge, numbers 1 through 4, I can do that. A basket full of cuteness, all the icons only go up to $7. Very doable, can fit any budget. The Puzzle Savings Challenge, this is super fun. The highest icons, 20, the rest, oh, 25. The rest are 10, 20, and 5, so very fun. Another challenge is the stained glass challenge. The highest icon is $20 and the rest are 10. So this was a freebie. Um, if you're interested in doing this binder with me next year and pushing yourself to save $10,000, if you ever order from the Happy Mailbox Co., you can go ahead and get um, request this as a freebie. Say, I want the stained glass savings challenge and I will give it to you. Also, really quick, it's the last day for the three strawberry shortcake challenges. Um, buy five things, get those three free. And next week will be the last of the series for... Um, the money bag set. And I'll explain that. 
Then the next thing I'm going to work on is my $750 savings challenge. So all of these are worth 25. The Starling challenge my daughter-in-law created, every mushroom here is worth 20 and this one's worth 600. This is a little birdie saves. Each of these icons are worth $5. For me to be realistic, I have to have low amounts. If I have a challenge that has like 60, 70, 80, 100, it just seems so um, hard for me. It's just a mental thing that I have in my head. So i rather have lots of little icons than bigger icons. And then here is Wise Savings. Each of these icons are worth $5. Here is a Rainy Day Fun. Each of these are worth $25. The crayons um, are anywhere from 15 to up to 25. Flower savings, each of these are worth 20. My little sophisticated flapper girls here, the highest one is 20. Leaf savings, all of these are worth 25. Nature savings, each of these are worth 10 or 20. And then this one has the biggest icon at $40 in the whole book. And then my cute noodle challenge, 25, 20, 15, 10, and five. So am I going to let a few little icons get in the way of me completing and saving $10,000? No siree. I am going to chip away at this one little icon at a time. And I'm not going to be afraid of these numbers or the 10,000 big number. I'm going to deal with icons 1 through 16 or 1 through 4 or 1 through 7. And little by little, I'm going to save $10,000. Do you want to join me? I will revisit this and show you these as we get closer. Um, and when I have a little bit of extra money in my purse, I'm going to come in and try to add money to this. In fact... I want to add a little bit of money to this today. I have $15 left over. I'm going to put a little bit into this and then I'm going to show you my bag of money challenge. And you know what? I forgot I need to glue these envelopes, but we'll just put it in there for now. Let's start off with our sloth. I mean, our sloth. Oh, my Lanta. Our frog challenge. <laughs> you guys. I call this a sloth and then I call it a frog. It's a fox. Okay, we're going to start with our fox challenge. Oh, the elevator sometimes does not go to the top. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to add $5 and let's just do, let's do this one. Okay. There's one icon and a two. Oh, that's awesome. So one, two, three, and let's do four, five. This makes me feel so good. You guys, I'm on my way. I started my journey to my $10,000 savings. Look at that. Love it, love it. I would work on this, um, you know, starting right now, but I have, we purchased a cow that I need three, to save $3,000 for, and then we have Christmas that um, I need $2,000 for. So I have $5,000 more to save by the end of the year. So that's a lot of money. Plus, you know, everything else that I have to save for in my life and, and, and have for our family. But this is my first three icons. I'm going to go and count up how many icons there are and just maybe look at it that way. You know, three icons off the list. And as I go, I'm going to move forward in reaching a huge goal of $10,000. So save with me. Come on, I need some friends to join me. Go ahead and do that. All right, here is our bag of money I wanted to show you guys all the challenges in here. So next week, this will be the last week. Let's put them by groupings. If by chance you did not get one of the groups and you want it, when you make an order at the Happy Mailbox Co., let me know which one you want for your freebie. So this is 151. This is, okay, there's that Care Bear one. There's this one. And there's that one. 
All right, the very first set was our Winnie the Pooh. So cute, I love Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Then we have the Tinkerbell set. There's this, this one, and this one. And now we have Strawberry Shortcake. There's that one, that one, and that one. And you guys, um, the next one is coming and it's gonna be my most favorite out of all of them. I, it's, oh, I just can't wait. But I'm going to start this one too. This will be another big bag of money project that I'm gonna work on next year. This will bring, I think it brings over like $2,800, not including the new set that will be added um, this next cup, next week. So which challenge do I want to start with? Do I want to do Winnie the Pooh? Do I want to do Care Bears? You know, we did start Winnie the Pooh first, or do I want to do Strawberry Shortcake? Oh, choices, choices, choices. Why don't we start with Winnie the Pooh? Let's see, is there a $10 challenge? Because I have $10. All right, we're gonna start with this one and I'm gonna color in my very first icon. You know, saving money is a mindset when you make it fun and you um, can see progress like you can in savings challenges. You will be consistent and you will stay up with it because you want to. You will rather color in one of these little icons than spend money. And so it is so fun. And like I said, reaching your goal is only to reach this $140 goal. I only need to color this many more icons. I mean, just look at it in a very simple, simple way. And it is very, very powerful. Oh, and I need to go ahead and glue these ones as well, but we'll put this here. So our very first challenge in our bag of money was started. I started my very first set of icons in my $10,000 savings. And like I said, you will just see this hit and miss through my uh, videos because it's really not the area of focus right now, but it is the area of focus for next year. Also, everyone, I love my Planner Fox budget um, planner, and good thing I got one because this girl needs to fine tune it and get my ducks in a row. I will see you tomorrow when we work on our big savings challenges, and I'm so excited for that. Till then, friends, bye.